Welcome to Performance and Productivity Improvements Breakout within BridgeCAD V25.2. Today we're going to be looking at two of our main user personas, the 2D Drafter and the 3D to 2D Drafter. The great thing is both of these user personas and workflows share commonality regarding inputting data, processing it and outputting. And the example we're going to use is this bell crank. We've taken the data from the 2D Drafter and then we're going to build it into a 3D model with the output being publishing, whether it's PDF or plotting. First up, we're gonna look at the additions that have been made when editing polylines. You've now got a control key middle grip, which allows you to change the polyline from an arc back to a single line, but also with a vertex point in the center, making it really quick and easy to edit polyline. Next up, we're gonna show you the new feature that we've added to the selection cycling dialog box. You've always been able to click on one item and show in a dialog box the overlapping entities. Whereas now you'll notice in the dialog box, you can hold down the control key or shift and it makes multiple selections. But when you click away from the dialog box, it retains the selection in the modeling window. So it's really fast and really easy to identify overlapping geometry. And it's a new feature in 25.2. Direct from customer requests, we've now implemented the option to isolate 2D entities on orbit rotation. You'll notice here I can shift select, and then when I hold down the orbit rotation command, it enables me just to isolate only these entities, making it very easy to add additional clarity to your workspace. We've also got this option in the 3D environment, which we'll come on to later on. In BricsCAD v25.1, Within the DWG Health dialog box, you could always display the tasks inside the custom routine. But the only problem was, you couldn't actually see a description of this routine. In BricsCAD B25.2, we've changed this. We've made it much easier to see a description of what's going on within these routines. So for an example, if you're a CAD manager and you've created a custom routine to clean up, say, 3D imported data, you can now see a description, say, clean up routine for IFC models, for instance, and with this update, you won't have to go into edit the dialog box. It's immediately easy to understand what's going on with this routine, making it much clearer for the user. Whilst this breakout is focusing on two workflows and personas, we understand that not everyone's gonna be having to build the 3D models. If you're only working in the 2D space to detail geometry, feel free to skip forward past the 3D modeling commands and learn more about the publishing enhancements in V25.2. A new feature that we've added in V25.2 are enhancements to the Sheet Set Manager for parity to other CAD platforms. In the Sheet Set Manager now, you can open up model views direct from the dialog box. And you'll notice here, I'm actually creating an additional view of this model. I'm using some input from the command line to actually save the view. And when I go back to the look from tab, I can put it back into the isometric view and it's retained the view that I've created. And once I've saved the file, if I go back to the sheet set manager and refresh the views underneath the DWG file, I can double click to access the view that I've created. Earlier in the session, we showed you how you could use the isolate command to rotate 2D entities when you orbit. This also applies in the 3D environment to reduce clutter in the modeling environment, but also make it quicker to render and manage. You'll notice here I can shift select more than one solid body. And when I rotate, it isolates only those components. For greater accuracy when using the slice command, we've now got a dotted line to be able to visualize the cutting plane offering parity to other 2D CAD tools, making it easier to use this command and visualize the end result. We've enhanced the overall performance of the live section command in V25.2 by making the rendering times up to 10 times faster than previous versions. And you'll notice here in this example, when I section through the model and I drag the preview, it instantly updates, giving you real-time feedback when you section through the model view. In BricsCAD v25.2, we've made improvements to how the view-based command 
creates drawing output in terms of projecting 2D drawing views. Background generation of the drawing views is enabled through the drawing flag setting. If you set the value to 3, it enables parallel generation of the drawing views. And you'll notice here, here are the system options to activate these settings. The background thread means that ViewBase will be a lot more reliable and faster to generate the drawing views, and it will use the acceleration of your hardware to make it much quicker to generate the 2D output. And you'll notice here, I'm just projecting a, a ViewBase command into this sheet. And with this model, we've got a fair few tangent edges, and it generates the views very quickly. In BrickScad V25, we made significant improvements to the performance of Flatshot. And I wanted to bring this back to your attention because earlier we mentioned we're working with two industry personas or workflows in terms of the 2D drafter and the 3D to 2D drafter, with the end result being 2D data. You'll notice with the flat shot, as we're not working in a siloed environment, you may need to share data between teams. So the cool thing is, if you're bringing in third-party 3D files, you can then generate a DWG from the profile, making it very quick to share the data between different teams. And it's really quick to generate this profile, and you can either have it as a block or save it out as an external file. You'll notice here, I'm just going to then generate a flat shot from this uh, 3D model. And you can choose whether you scale it in the modeling environment. And once you've generated it, look how quick it is to generate that 2D profile on that layer. In this maintenance release of V25.2, we've made some great enhancement to the MTEX fields. You'll notice now you can use the Format Painter to copy properties from one item of text to another very quickly. These enhancements don't stop there. We've added the ability to add superscript and subscript to items of text, all within the same dialog box. We appreciate majority of you guys publish out PDFs from single sheet files. That's why we've made it a lot easier to pick. Under the file name, you've got the option of creating the layout, the sheet name, or the drawing name in the plot dialog box. And when you select publish, you've now got some additional options. You'll notice here, once we've generated this PDF, at the bottom right hand corner, we've now got an icon that shows the publish monitor and we can actually look at how long it's taking and the output options. And we can also cancel the job part way if we're printing out multiple sheets. It's a really good way of getting feedback in terms of what's happening with the background process. To make the results more predictable when you're publishing PDF documents, we've made some enhancements in the plot dialog box. When you select to publish to PDF, under the system options, you can now go into the properties and choose to view, view the PDF once it's been published. You'll notice once you save to your desktop or any other file location, it will then publish the document straight after. Thanks for joining this breakout. I hope you agree that the R&D team have done some fantastic work here, driving performance and productivity gains throughout the workflows. You'll see here I've got three examples of companies that are really seeing the benefits of using the BricsCAD tool sets. Feel free to check out our other breakout sessions to learn more about the enhancements from V25.2.